Hi, my name's Phil. Uh, quickly going to show you how to add a device to your system on the Handshoot app. Uh, what we can currently see here is um, a, a house consumption. This is because we're using a Handshoot inverter. If you don't have a Handshoot inverter, what you may find is where there'll be a blue tab in front uh, of the house just below that says add device. Uh, before we do this, I just want to share with you as you can see on here, it's got 2.4G, so that's 2.4 gigahertz frequency channel um, that we need to actually connect to. So make sure that you are connected to that if you have separate SSIDs. Uh, and let me just actually show you the, the camera. So this is what it would look like. So on your battery, uh, you will have your logger uh, in, input into your battery. There's different kinds of battery. This one particular is a 9.4. And the logger is put on the right hand side of the battery that's closest to the screen. Okay, so when you plug it in and the uh, dongle is ready for pairing, you will get a green light in the center of the three lights that's on the dongle. This is saying it's ready, uh, you can now pair me. Once it's paired and we go back to the camera, you'll notice that there'll be a blue light that appears above it to show that it is connected. So let's go into the app. Now in the top right hand corner, you'll see a, a circle with a, a plus sign in it. This is where you go to add a device. If you haven't got the blue um, picture in front of you that says add device, go to click add device. Now this will actually search for all the devices within a 10 meter radius of what I can physically pair to the station. We don't want the EV charger, so let's just go to the battery. Now we know it is this one because the serial number matches the dongle uh, on the screen. So let's click add. Let's make sure we're at, we've got the correct Wi-Fi. Click confirm. And then add. And then it will go through the binding process. And this is what it looks like as a binding process. Once it's successful, underneath the battery, you'll get a green tick um, to say, yes, I'm successfully paired. That means then your battery will now show up on your station when you go to view it. So. It can take um, up to about two minutes, um, depending upon the signal strength. Um, it can be a bit quicker. Sometimes it can only take seconds. It really depends on how good the signal is that you're receiving to the point of source that you're trying to connect to. So again, do bear that in mind. Um, I'm gonna quickly just uh, pause the video while we wait for this one to bind, and then I'll rejoin you and go through all the other processes. Okay, so we've uh, now successfully paired the actual dongle. Uh, it took around about 45 seconds to a minute for this one to connect. Um, so again, like I say, it does really depend upon your um, signal strength. So let's come out of this one. Let's go back to the station. And then when I go into devices and battery, I should see a 9.4, which is this particular battery here. And we can now say it's discharging and all the other details that we need. So this is how you pair um, a, a device. And again, like I promised you, I'm just going to quickly show you the camera to show you now that it is showing that it's connected with a blue and green symbol. If the blue light does flash, um, it is updating the actual battery. So um, if you can't see it or can't log into it, that generally means it's doing an update. But that's how you do it. There you go. Thanks very much.